Hi, I'm Lee Benz, the Home Scholar. Welcome from Seattle. I'm just here to give you a video tip of the week. And I wanted to talk to you about how I taught physics in my homeschool because that was something that I talked about a lot when I was at the convention and I thought you know that's something that a lot of people probably need to hear what it's like for a real homeschool mom trying to teach something that she doesn't know um, I want to start out by saying I never took physics in high school I never took physics in college and my kids really love science and math and so I was frankly terrified because I had no clue what I was doing and I could only defer to my husband so long you know he had a job he couldn't help him every day um, and so here's what it looked like teaching physics in my home it would be my sons they would have the textbook in one hand they would have the answer key in the other hand and they would be reading through and reading through and when they got stuck they would look at the answer key and then that was how they kind of learned the concepts um, when it came time for a test, I would take the answer key with me when I went grocery shopping and I would hand them the test instead. So here's your test. I'm taking the answer key. I go shopping. And then when I come home from my grocery shopping, miraculously, the test is done. Then I have the answer key. So then I'm looking at them side by side, the answers my children gave, the answers in the answer key. To be honest, I didn't even know what the symbols meant. You know, it could have been, I don't know, Greek. It meant nothing to me. And so I just looked to make sure that the answer that they gave me looked exactly the same as the answer in the answer key. Now, sometimes they would be different. And when that would happen, my children would try to convince me that they were actually right and the textbook was actually wrong. And so when that would happen, they certainly had the option of contacting the manufacturer or the author or whatever and, and just write to them and say, is your answer key wrong because I came up with this, right? If they heard back, I would be more than happy to change their answer on the, on the test and, and mark it as correct. But, you know, most of the time they didn't bother and that's fine. They just came to understand that if it didn't look exactly the way it was on the answer key, um, that was mom's only method of choosing right or wrong answers. So we use that strategy not just with physics, but also the other subjects that I didn't have a clue, like math and Latin and French. It just had to look the same as the answer key, and they could use that answer key as a part of their studying technique, you know, and that was fine as long as I had it when I needed it for those tests. So that's how you teach things that you don't know.